Paolo, I'd like to give you some hints related to this swinging rod problem. Only a small fraction of the people really know how to do this. And don't feel bad if you cannot do it. It's perfectly okay. But if you want to stand <laughs> a chance to do the next problem, which will be much harder, but it will be related, yeah, you might as well work on this one too. So I'll make a few general comments. I'm asking you for the period capital T. That means if you get an answer and you put in there some numbers with proper units, L has a unit of meters, G has a unit of meters per second square. If you put in proper units in your equations, you must get an answer in seconds. Many of you do not get an answer in seconds. They, for instance, say t is the square root of g. Well, g is meters per second square. The square root of that is not seconds. So, many of you, in many cases, the answer is even dimensionally not correct. That's the minimum you can check. Number two. We use small angle approximation. That means the period is the same regardless of the maximum angle from which you release the object because we use small angled approximations. So that period can never be dependent on B then. Many of you have capital T and there's a B somewhere. That cannot be. Now, there's something else that you may remember from your high school days. That all these kind of oscillations in a gravitational field, if you oscillate pendulums or rods or bars or whatever, they are independent of their mass. That's an amazing thing, but that's true. Do you remember that in one of my 801 lectures, I show you that a simple pendulum that means a string with a mass at the end. That the period is independent of that mass. I hang myself on that string. Well, how much do I weigh? 80 kilograms. And there is no difference within one hundredth of a second with the period that I measured when I only have 15 kilograms hanging on that string. And this is that is also the case for physical pendulums. So you can never have a mass in there. No B, there can be no angle in your answer and there can be no mass in your answer and you better check for dimensional correctness. Your answer must be an answer for which the units are seconds. Okay, that's all I can do for you now. Don't feel bad if you can't do it. It's perfectly okay. If you want to use it in, if you want to try it in a more useful way, use my hints. Okay, take care.